Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Welcome back to Lock Cloud Do Things. It's been a bit since you've probably heard my voice. But I'm going to get into some creative stuff today. Try and uh, do a walkthrough of something that I made a little while back. Someone requested on YouTube for me to go ahead and do that. And it's just kind of a fun thing, so we're going to get into it. Okay, as you can see, I've got it loaded in here. A short story changes. You've been training and studying for months now, but what you are not sure of yet, things may change. And this was just me trying to do a real simple, as can be, just kind of fun little literal short story. And I'm sure you guys kind of looked at everything as you loaded in. Maybe a little confused about everything loading in, so. But I hope no one sat there and tried to play this with more than one person involved because this map is one player and it will mess up if you sit there and try and bring more than one in I tried to get the whole spectate to work I'm not for sure what I did wrong but again a lot of this was actually made a while back ago and then I picked it back up and finished it tonight my training begins But doing what? I have no idea. I have to find my orb key. Where did I find it? So the orb key is right here. I use a shield bubble. Locate orb key. And locate the professor's office because I picked up the orb key. So this is the lab over here and you, what you want to do is you want to go up these stairs. There is literally nothing over here. This is like a giant blast door, basically. The tunnels are closed off for safety, I assume. I mean, you can jump over the little barricade, but you can't get past that. So there wasn't anything really to that except for scenery, maybe story building. But I just, again, I tried to do something a little bit different for you guys. Or key access. You come on in here. Ah, locate the security button. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. Not a lot of people really knew what to do. Now, where was the professor's hidden secret button again? Uh, and I didn't want to give any hints to this, but just the fact that, you know, it, you had to look through it. I think a lot of people probably looked at that rope first, if I had to guess. Maybe even over here at the radio. Probably might have been a little confused, but since it revolved around the professor, it's right here, guys. Power off the lab security. You literally go to the portrait, which would be the professor himself. But I tried to make it not as, like, cued in. I have another one I did called uh, Oro's Fortune, based around the Oro skin. But that's probably where a lot of people are getting stuck. If you're wondering, this is the key that opens this. Starts reactor. What have I gotten myself into? You just come through here. Anybody home? And then as soon as you step in here, that door shuts and then you can't go back there. Uh, one more scan, vaporization of any remaining germs. You will pass through the void as your atoms reconstruct. What, what was that? What is that? I can't even read my own stuff. And one last scan to optimize. This is the galaxy box you've read about. Stay calm, walk forward, and you will wake up to your training. Yeah, because everyone wants to jump into that, right? Things will be different after this. Read the notes that we've left for you. I mean, you guys can come over here and look at all this. You could probably even jump through these windows if you tried hard enough. If you could get past the barriers that I set in them that aren't actually there. Because, you know, I meant to put barriers, then I thought, why not? But yeah, this is literally all you do. You go straight into here. Notes. Read the notes. Wha- where am I? If you're reading this, the ESR, or Experimental Size Ray, was a success. Our first human experiment so far is a complete nothing missing, and I see that yet again the Fortnite update messed with my text on yet another map. Sadness. Nothing ad added in cognitive while human 
whole human being thinking breathing moving it's wonderful get yourself centered next with the buses you notice there's a tiny bus copy a smaller bus copy and a large bus is the original so you've come in here this is where you came through the portal this is your size this is super mini size or miniature size or small size and then if you notice you're actually in what looks like a average human sized bus and we are really tiny and you'd probably be losing it right now if you really were this small I have to be going insane I mean I would think I'd be going insane if I stepped out and all of a sudden grass is as big as I am that or you haven't got going in a while our security is a bit strict but won't harm you they are here too and I see that it's messed up I do, I'm sorry guys I am sorry and I've already sat there and got this out so I can't even update this that's what really sucks right now they're here to protect you or help you guard you I can't even remember what the original said the original strict security no kidding so it's just one of them things that happens as if I didn't feel small already this is a museum of sorts big small and average size things take a look Rowan bust, average size. Birthday cake, big size. Grew from miniature dollhouse prop, size of you now. Firewood pile, average size. Farmer's pail, small size. Truck, small size. Shrunk, average vehicle. Soda cap with mountain green river soda inside, big size. Mind you, this was supposed to be a play upon Mountain Dew. I just didn't want to get in any weird trouble. You just never know these days with the internet and things. Outdoor playset, slide and swings, average size. So then you see this big locked door over here. You need to find another stink bomb. To open the door, locate the stink bomb key. Now, this seems pretty simple. This isn't a very big area. This is a real easy one, guys. There's a diving board here and a little pinball here. So you do this. You get stink bomb. You cannot slide down the slide. Everyone I showed this to that I had playtest it with me, my wife and a couple of friends, are always disappointed. I wish it was that way, but it's not. I'm sorry, but you can at least slide down this and completely miss, for whatever reason, the pinball and go off the diving board at least. So you open this up. What else could there be? This was a prize inside of a cereal box, not drivable. So this is like supposed to be a small car you'd find in a cereal box, basically. Also, check out that koi fish wrap. Go slow. Up next is the bowling box. And yes, that's a bowl. That is literally a giant sized cereal bowl. And then that is a giant sized cereal box. I named it Super Llama Crunch. I remember Super Llama Crunch, my favorite cereal. Super went super sized. Now with new disco squares. Kevin Cubes, turn your milk purple. <laughs> Top of cereal bowl. And I don't know, I just... I, I tried to make something using the fact that you can make things such giant size. And then I noticed, like, everybody was starting to make stuff that was kind of like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and all that, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. And what's funny is a lot of people will sit there and kind of have the same like idea as far as like being small or making a certain type of death run but it'll still be different in its own way uh there's a guy shortly after i actually made this a giant size cereal bowl who would have thought but there was a guy i don't remember his name i believe it was on dropnight.com where i put a lot of my stuff please do check that out it's a great place to look up maps but yeah he sat there and literally made a hide and go seek that was nothing but honey I shrunk the kids related and he did an awesome job on it and these llamas are searchable just get up and cozy with a llama here for a second and there's nothing but chug splashes in them and the funny part is for whatever reason they don't work on the barrier you can see that they're actually going through everything but yep no so then you have the cereal box outlook And I mean, there's there's nothing hidden. There's This isn't like a coin search or anything like that. And 
but it says take a pic to share Super Llama Crunch on Twitter and tag me like at like Kyle for a retweet. Stay awesome. Hope you enjoyed. Stand your sign for a first person view of box. So there's the box. If you really wanted to take a picture, you could literally stand right up against this thing, angle it just right, take a picture, and then tag me in it if you wanted to. But that's literally it. That is the map. There's there's nothing really particular to it. It was just it, it literally started out as a simple idea where I sat there, I can't show you the map, but I sat there and I started the little bunker area that I didn't really know what I was going to do with. Basically after I built the reactor portion and I didn't know what you were going to go into and then I'm like, oh, we'll go into a lab. So I built the lab and all that and it sat for months like that. This is literally from 2019, I'm not even kidding. And I just recently finished it. I mean, some maps are like that. But peace, folks and dudes, stay awesome, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you, peeps, folks, and dudes later. Bye bye.